Hey guys, my name is Allison and welcome back to my channel. Surprise! We are at my new shop. Um, for those of you that don't know, I left my other shop and opened my own shop. We will be doing a shop tour here on YouTube of the whole place, but I wanted to start and do a review on this shirt by tub. It goes up and down, which is like my favorite part ever. I don't have to pick up dogs anymore. I don't have to pick up dogs anymore. All right, so. That's what we're here to talk about today. Um, and I'm just gonna give you all a little review of this stuff. It was a big expense. So um, I think it's important to know what you're purchasing and know um, all the things because it's not like it's a couple hundred dollars. It's like a couple thousand dollars. Um, and chances are you're maybe buying more than one. Um, so. I want to tell you some of the things I wish I knew before I bought it, some of the things that I love, some of the things that I wish they would improve, um, and talk about my new shiny tub. <laughs> okay, so I don't remember the like different model name, it just like had different numbers, but on their website, I will put everything in the description. There was, they had like, it was like E300 and like E something. I don't 100% remember, I'll put it down below, um, but the only difference was between those two, one, the door pulled out, and the other one, the door slid over, alright, um, so I went with the one, obviously, that pulls out, um, and that is because I actually worked at a facility a long time ago for like two weeks um, that had the tub where the door slid across, and I had a couple dogs be able to actually open that while they were in the tub, just because they were a little rambunctious in there, some big, some big babies. So they were able to slide that door across, which resulted in me getting soaked. So I decided to go for the one that had the door that pulled out. So when I need to put a big dog in, um, I pull the door out, and then I come over here to the pedal and. I lower it down. So probably, I mean, let's be honest, this is the feature that's everyone's favorite. Like, this is why you buy this tub. Like, it's why you buy the tub. And then get the dog in, put this back on. You're all good to go. All right, I wanted to raise you all up so you can see down into the tub a little bit and so I can talk at the same time. Um, the thing that I absolutely love is that they have a booster in here. So this side is taller than this side. So I can put really little dogs over here. I actually just end up putting, I have a bathing paw mat that I've had forever. It's one that I've cut in half and I use it in the tubs. Um, because I feel like the holes in these little grates um, are just a little big for my really old, really tiny, fragile dogs. Um, so I put this in there so they have something nice and comfy to stand on, which I would do in the tubs anyways, um, even without the grates, so it wasn't really that big of a deal to me. Just because I like the extra like padding that that provides my really old and fragile little babies. Um, I'll show you what the actual grades look like. They look like this. So this is on the bottom of both sides. And then the booster comes out. And it's not the easiest thing to take out. So um, I've had to take quite some practice. Basically, you can't like tilt it in any direction. You have to like lift straight up to get this out. So, uh, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. So this is what the booster looks like. Um, now I have resorted to leaving this grate out and not having it in the tub on this side because this is where my drain is, um, and this is one of the things that I really wish they would fix. The drain has this little cup 
that collects the dog hair. Um, it's fantabulous. It really works. Okay. It really, really works. And um, quite frankly, I think it works a little too well. So that's why this is something I wish I could change. Um, if I have a dog that has um, even a little bit of hair, it clogs this thing up and then the water is filling up in no time. Now, if I'm doing like a Husky D shed, I virtually struggle like to even use this tub because this thing is so full of hair so fast. I can't get the water to drain to where I can even wash my dog. Um, and I don't know if it's just like the way that like the holes are on this cup. Um, I'm not sure if it's like, if there's a different way they could design this to work to where like, yes, it's going to catch the hair, but like, no, you don't have to empty it every two seconds type of thing. So if that's why I have the grate out on this side, because if a big dog is in there and this is underneath that grate, you have to get the grate out to be able to get this cup to empty this cup out of the hair. Um, and so if I'm doing a big hairy dog, it was way too difficult. I'd have to shove them over here in the corner, which like didn't always work, or I'd have to actually take them out of the tub to be able to remove the grate to get this out, put them back in the tub. It was a mess. Um, and this tub was supposed to make my life easier, not harder. And so I opted for just leaving that out. Um, and that has worked out really well and solved some of my problems. I'm still just emptying this thing all the time. Um, so that is kind of annoying, but I will say as a business owner, I do really appreciate the fact that it like really works. It really catches the dog hair. Um, so I don't really have to worry about like the plumbing and the pipes over here getting clogged up with dog hair, at least with this tub, because I know that drain works really well. So um, basically if you're a business owner, I say 100% go for it, tell your groomers to get over it. It's annoying, but it works. Um, and for myself, you know, so that's how I feel. I'm like, well, the pipes are going to be clean. It's annoying, but it works. So, all right, I'm going to get this back in here. All right, like I said, it's taking some practice. But let's go ahead and raise this back on up. Um, now, I decided to add a piece of plexiglass on the wall. I can't talk and raise this at the same time. I decided to add a piece of plexiglass on the wall because if I have a big dog in here um, and I'm giving it a bath and it shakes, this wall is not tall enough to catch water and keep it away from my walls. Um, and I've had this place for now, this is week three, and this wall was starting to already be disgusting and it was really hard to clean. Um, so we scrubbed the ever living daylights out of it and then put plexiglass up. <laughs> so now it's a lot easier to clean. We just wipe down the plexiglass when we wipe out the tub each night. Super easy. Um, now it's definitely waterproof and it's helped and I have no problems whatsoever. All right, as you can see, this tub goes pretty tall. Um, I'm using Nikki as an example. This is her sitting on top of the booster. So if you have a small dog, you just raise this all the way up. I mean, it's uncomfortably standing like this. I'm 5'9". Um, on a good day, 5, 8-ish, somewhere around there, um, and I can easily just sit and wash her. She is sitting on top of the booster, um, but I mean, this should require me to bend over zero amount of times. Um, so I absolutely have been enjoying that, and it has saved my back already in just a couple weeks. So A++, my absolute favorite thing. All right, so something I definitely wanna mention about this tub is the plumbing. Um, so I'm not a plumber, I groom dogs. I know nothing about it, okay? But I learned a lot while trying to make sure we got this tub hooked up. Um, now, your plumber may or may not have ever put in a moving tub that requires moving 
plumbing. Um, my plumber was a little confused. We were able to work it out and I solved the problems with some help of friends that were able to send me videos of their tubs and how their plumber had kind of hooked it up. Um, but it was definitely stressful for everyone, us, the plumber. Um, it was kind of a nightmare. So the company doesn't tell you how to hook it up. They don't give you any kind of instructions as far as that goes, which should be pretty cool. Cause I mean like a tub that moves is not standard. That's not something plumbers work with every day. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of exactly what happened and what we ended up figuring out with the plumber on how to get this plumbed correctly so that we could actually use it because that was one of the nightmares of getting this tub installed. All right, so basically what you're seeing here is we had to install a washer box. Um, so this is kind of the exact same thing that is behind your washer machine, even in like your house or um, even if you have a washer machine in your shop. This is the exact same thing that's behind there with the washer machine cables because your washer machine does move a little bit. Um, they have some flexible parts. So that was exactly what worked out for our tub and our situation. So we put in a washer box with the um, tubing that was long enough to reach to the maximum height that the tub raised and um, all the way down. So the next um, biggest problem was the drainage hole. Um, the tub came with a, um, a pipe for to drain that moved up and down. Um, but when we were looking at the tub and we had told them where the drainage hole was, we accidentally said the wrong side. Um, so where they had put the hole for the plumbing for the water to go out was the opposite side of where our drain was on the actual tub. So luckily we went to Lowe's and we were able to find another hose that they had that worked um, because we needed one that was much longer than the original one. So once we got that hooked up to the other side of the tub, he um, just added a couple zip ties to make sure that the actual drainage pipe would stay out of the way of the tub moving up and down so like it didn't get crushed by like the pieces um, and that it would still drain properly. And then another thing that like we didn't really mention, but this tub is electric and it does need to be plugged in. So. Sometimes, you know, electric and water, that definitely doesn't go together. We had our electrician um, put in these like protective switches. So if they do get wet, like nothing really happens. I don't know the correct terminology for that. Like I said, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a plumber. I'm just telling you um, the things that we have sorted out. So if you are looking into putting one of these into your facility, you it will maybe hopefully at least know the correct questions to ask. Um, that will help make sure you get what you need and what you want for this tub. All right, another surprise that came with this tub was we got it and we were all excited. Um, we didn't realize that it did not come with the faucet. So you actually do have to purchase the faucet. You can, I think, get other ones. You don't have to buy the one from them. I bought the one from them because I knew it would work. It's made for the tub. Um, so the faucet that we got is the Shermo faucet. I'll show you all how that works. I actually really like this faucet, but it was just um, kind of a surprise because that was like another $200 expense that we weren't planning on making to um, uh, have the tub functional. Um, not only that, we had to purchase a hose for the faucet from Lowe's um, so that you could make it work. Um, we ended up just getting like a shower cord because it um, it's what worked best. And I actually had purchased these fur saving nozzles, which are um, from Fur Saver, I'm pretty sure, that are made for washing dogs. Um, so that is my sprayer for the tub. So I'll show you all of that. Um, but that was definitely just a kind of surprise expense that I wasn't looking, um, I wasn't looking to do. You know, when you're doing these types of things, there's always surprise expenses. But when you're spending that much on a tub, 
you would kind of think it comes with all the parts. So don't let that trick you because it definitely does not come with the faucet. So this side actually controls the water pressure and this side controls the temperature of the water. And I think the last thing that this comes down to is just like cleaning the tub. Um, as you can see throughout the video, there's definitely water spots on this tub. Um, we clean it at the end of the day every day. Um, but water spots and stainless steel just kind of happens. So I had never had a stainless steel tub until here. So I really had no idea the proper way to clean it. I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to damage the metal in any way. Um, so I looked up some things and here's what I had found. A lot of people use something called like bartender's keeper. I'm like, you know, they have a lot of stainless steel as well. So I, that's a product I'm not familiar with, but um, they said that works great. I went for the scrubbing bubbles um, product. A lot of people were saying they just use scrubbing bubbles. They just spray the tub down. Um, and then we just bought this little scrub brush. So like what you clean dishes with. Um, this is pretty like soft. Um, we didn't want to scratch the tub. I had actually bought a rougher sponge like, but definitely not a sponge, it's pretty rough um, to try and use on the tub. And I used it in one little corner and it definitely scratched the metal. So do not, I'm just like, nope, not gonna go that route with anything. Um, this actually has pretty soft bristles and we just scrub the tub with this once the scrubbing bubbles have been put on. Um, I'm definitely looking into a way to be able to like clean it at the end of the day and get rid of all of the water spots. Like even the outside, you know, it gets, it gets some water spots pretty good. We wash dogs all day for heaven's sake, you know? Um, but just aesthetically, I would love to get rid of the water spots. Um, but that doesn't make it not clean. It's very clean, very sanitized, and the most sanitized tub you can have in your shop. It's stainless steel. It's going to last as long as you take care of it properly. Um, and that's kind of it. That's, that's my experience on the tub. I absolutely adore that it goes up and down. Um, it has saved my back 100% worth the money. Um, and only cons is that little drainage hair catching cup you know kind of depends on what your goals are but it works really well it keeps the hair out of the pipes and that's what i want as a business owner so i don't have to call the plumber to come back and fix that because not only would that cause the plumber to have to come that means my tub doesn't work for the day because i can't get it to drain i can't wash dogs in it, it causes a whole lot of mess um, that I don't want, that I don't want to do. And so just having to empty that cup a couple extra times during the bath might be pretty annoying, but I know it's going to save me in the long run. Um, and then the plexiglass, of course, you don't have to like do anything like that. I just have white walls um, and I wanted to make sure they stay clean and protected and um, water and crud free. Uh, basically, I was finding it really hard to keep the walls clean just the first couple weeks here um, in the bathing room because this room definitely gets the dirtiest. Um, so I definitely thought adding a little piece of plexiglass would be the easiest way and it 100% has been. Now, if I do little dogs or something, it's no trouble at all when they shake. This definitely keeps it out of the way, but um, for up there, with the big dogs, that's what was better, so. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to give you all a shop tour. Um, it'll be coming soon, so don't worry. <laughs> I think the other people just got here, but um, I'm gonna head out and get this, get to work for the day and get this edited for you guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I did change my Instagram name. It's now AB Sebastian Groomer, and you can follow the shop if you're interested. There are lots of things already on there at AB Sebastian's Pet Salon on Instagram. So um, lots of things coming. There will be a shop tour soon, but I wanted to start here with one of my fave purchases in the shop to date. So 
we'll be back with so many more reviews um, because I got so much stuff. But that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. I know I really wish I would have had something like this when I was trying to put in this tub. Um, so there you go. Thanks guys. Bye. <laughs>